Hey everyone and welcome to this video. So as of Dynamics 365 version 8.2, each business process flow has been an entity of its own. So what this means is that we can now interact with business process flows through workflows, for example. And one of the questions that usually comes up is how to advance in our business process flow from one stage to another based on a field value. So now what we have here in the system is a standard out of the box business process flow for the project entity. And I've made, I've made a custom field called existing project contract on the project entities form. Now what we can do here is we can actually advance in this business process flow based on the value in this field. And this could, as this might as well be an opportunity entity and we could, uh, we could advance in, in an opportunity business process flow based on fields like account or contact, etc. But for the sake of this example, I've, I've chosen the project entity and the project stages business process flow. So first off, what we need is some sort of field to actually advance our BPF. And next, what we need is a workflow. So for the sake of brevity, I've already created a workflow in the system, but I'll run you through the, I'll, I'll run you through it to give you an example of how we can manipulate, manipulate the business process flows with workflows. All right, so I have my workflow here called project stage plan if project contract exists. So let's open that up. And as we can see, it's an asynchronous workflow. It, the scope is set for organization and the workflow starts when the process changes. And what I've selected behind this option is this field value from the project entity. And as you can see, the field that I have is right here, existing project contract. So if that field equals to yes, then what we want to do is we want to update our project business process flow to stage plan. So we're updating project stages and under set properties, we're setting the active stage to plan. So now when I activate this workflow and I change the value in the field, we'll get the pro business process flow to the plan stage. All right, so the workflow is active. Let's change this to yes. Let's save the changes. And let's refresh the record. And as you can see, the business process is now in the plan stage. So sometimes you got to give Dynamics 365 a little bit of time when you're talking about asynchronous workflows. On the first refresh, the workflow wasn't complete, but on the second refresh, it had already run. So I hope this brief video gives you an idea of on how to, to interact with business process flows using workflows and how to, to set the stage of a business process flow based on a value in a field. Thanks very much and have a good one.